Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with the season finale of season one of Demon Slayer. I'm so excited, you guys. If you're joining me early today, it means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So last time on Demon Slayer, we had some pretty cool um, events happen. Tanjiro powered up quite a bit, I'd say. Um, I was kind of surprised to learn that the um, technique that he learned was a beginner's technique because it seemed pretty intense, um, but it also gives a good perspective on how far you can go with training yourself as a demon slayer um and we know from seeing individuals like Gyu um that there's you know there's, there's quite a bit of power to be had uh even for like a normal human being who who undertakes demon slaying um uh, well they're not exactly normal though because they all it seems like they all kind of have like abilities um, we know some of the Hashira have, like, different things going on, and we know that, like, Tanjiro has his scent ability, um, Inosuke has, I believe it was touch, and Zanitsu has hearing. Um, so, pardon my faux pas, they're not exactly normal human beings, but, um, in any event, they're pretty, there's, there's a lot to, um, there's a lot of potential to be unlocked, we'll say that, with Demon Slaying. Um, so I was really, really proud of him. Um, looks like Zenitsu and Inosuke are trying to get on board with that now, um, which I know, I know they'll get there. Um, great backstory for our young butterfly girl. Um, <laughs> I still, I will learn her name. I do apologize. Um, but um, that was a really good backstory, and I loved... Um, the way that they explain the coin, uh, it's just so, they do such a good job of making characters and uh, stories very heartfelt in a short period of time. Um, so, you know, even though that flashback was all of about, you know, five minutes maybe, I still feel like there's kind of a special place in my heart now for those three characters, you know, Shinobu, her sister, and, and, um, Insert name here, Butterfly, Little Butterfly Girl, Young Butterfly Girl. Um, I am so surprised that we've come to the end of the season already. Um, it really doesn't feel like I've been watching it that long. Each episode is so, there's, there's, it just feels like, it feels like there's no filler with this show. Um, every episode is important. I mean, like, when I'm going through and doing the editing sometimes, it's like, it feels like every scene is important. There's, like, no wasted moments. Um, and I think because of that, it it feels like it's gone by a lot more quickly. Um, I'm very, very excited for season two. I have no idea when season two is coming out, but I really hope it's soon. <laughs> Um, I don't think I can do like a, like a long wait, you guys. Um, somebody, somebody clue me in as to when that's happening, please, and thank you. Um, hopefully it's not too long. But I have really, really enjoyed this show. I love this season. Um, as you guys know, you chose the show for me. And I'd just like to extend a warm thank you to everyone because I had no idea what the show was about going in. I would have never chosen it myself um, because I didn't know anything about it. So, you know, you're not going to... Uh, unless you just hear good things, which I know there were a lot of good things being said about this particular show. Um, but... It's, it's really a gem that I would have absolutely missed out on had you not recommended it to me. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for recommending it. Um, I, I really, really have enjoyed it. So um, I, I think you guys did a good job with your, with your recommendations this time around. And in all times, there's, there really haven't been, like you guys have recommended a couple of them now, I think. And is that? Yeah, I think that's right. And... Honestly, like, I haven't seen anything that I'm like, 
nah, that wasn't for me. Like you guys are, you guys are killing it. So thank you. So without further ado, um, because as I was saying last episode, you know, this is the point where I'd ordinarily like, if I wasn't doing it on a schedule, I would kind of stop because I didn't want it to end. But all good things. Um, so without further ado, I say let's jump into this season finale of Demon Slayer. Let's go. You guys, that was so good. Um, excellent, excellent way to end off the season. Um, I loved, again, the way that they tied current Tanjiro and Nezuko back to those beginning scenes of him rushing her through the woods after she's just been turned. Um, the, the little highlight reel that they did got to me a little bit. I teared up a little bit. Um, it's... It's really stunning to think of how much we've been through with these characters in this short amount of time and um, the emotional heights and depths that they've gone to throughout the series. I mean, they the first episode they were <laughs> they were talking at the heartstrings. Um, awesome, awesome uh, season. I'll talk a little bit about the episode and then I'll just give you my quick thoughts on the season. Um, so. We got to see a lot more of Kibutsuji in this one, I think, than we had ever seen in any other episode. They may have mentioned he was a shapeshifter before. I can't remember. But, wow, like, I had either forgotten that or this was, like, the first time they were ever telling us. And that was a, that was a twist um, for me. If it's something they mentioned before, I do apologize. Um, but... <clears throat> seeing that he had changed his appearance and even his aura, apparently, according to the the, the lower 12 demons that were in his presence. Um, it, it was it was quite a surprise. Um, I am getting to see a little bit more of his persona now. He seems very egotistical. Um, because really, when you think about it, for being the villain of this season... We have seen him a handful of times. We really have not seen him much. They've done an excellent job of using him sparingly so that his presence feels so much more intense and unnerving when we do see him. Um, we got to see a few of the other lower um, five. Um, the one, two, three, and four. Five is gone, as we know. Um... So apparently the one that was like, I'm just so lucky to be killed by you. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> that, that actually worked. Like, I didn't think that was going to work. I was like, oh, he's never going to buy that, like, sucking up to him. And here you go. He did. Um, so looks like the name of our next arc will be the Infinity Train arc. That particular demon is um, on this train. We know that our crew has met up with, I'm not recalling his name, but the Flame Hashira. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Flame and Fire stuff. Um, so, apparently Shinobu recommended that Tanjiro and his crew be, be the ones that go to assist the Flame Hashira. And her reasoning was really sound, and that's that, um, you know, Tanjiro has this fire ability in his family... Um, so does Nezuko. So it would make sense that maybe they should um, work together and maybe that can be fostered um, a little bit by the Flame Hashira for Tanjiro. Um, come to think of it, this is just like a little thing, but I never even like really thought about their connection to fire so much until this episode. But um, actually, that's not true because someone very smart pointed out to me in the comments that the blood demon art of each demon is kind of a reflection of something about them. And we know that um, for Nezuko, it was the fire because her family has dealt with fire. And we've seen that with some of the other demons as well, that there's always like some kind of personal connection with their blood demon art. Rui had the, the webs because of the threads and bonds of family that he was always trying to get back to and so forth. I didn't make that up. Somebody very smart left that in <laughs> comments. So I take zero credit for that. Um, but it's funny, I had not really even noticed this until this episode, but Tanjiro has the red hair 
and the red eyes and they teased that maybe he would get the flame sword when he first got his sword and even Nezuko has like the bottoms of her hair like fade into an orange kind of like flames so that like didn't stand out to me at all until she was mentioning that you know his his lineage kind of has to do with fire and that maybe he should learn more about it and work with this flame Hashira about it um so good um so it's it's very layered because there's stuff that like I wouldn't even realize unless it was pointed out to me. Like I was saying, I think um, either this reaction or last reaction, um, every detail is important on the show. In the same way that they put so much care into the animation and every detail of it is so beautiful and breathtaking, they do the same thing with the story and it really shows. And I'm sure I'm going to be like dissecting the whole season now in my brain um, while I wait for season two. Um, so apparently season two is greenlit. But it doesn't seem like maybe maybe more has happened since the end of this season because I know it ended like a few months ago. Um, but I mean, like that's not like a definitive date or anything. Like we really don't know when it's coming out, I guess, or do we? Because if we do, somebody enlighten me because <laughs> I need to know. Um, but I'm so glad there will be a second season. Um, Given the pop popularity of this series, I would be really surprised if they didn't, but um, you never know. Um, very, very excited for the second season. I know there's probably a lot that I'm like, <sighs> I just like, I need to digest it more and think about it. But unfortunately, I won't be back with another <laughs> reaction to Demon Slayer. So maybe like if they do a trailer or whatever, maybe I can I can share. Um, if I have more thoughts after this, I could I could come and share them um, during that, or even just in the comments. You know, like uh, going back and forth with you guys is really fun, and and learning through what you tell me. And um, so. What an epic show. What an epic season. I cannot wait for season two. Um, love the characters. Love the care that they put into the visuals and the story. Love the plot. Um, I cannot wait to see more, you guys. Again, I want to tell you thank you so much for recommending this to me, for going on this journey with me in season one. I do hope you'll continue the journey with me in season two and that you'll uh, also, if you haven't already, hop on board some of my other reactions. Um, I will be reacting to another anime. I won't say too much yet because I don't want to give it away. Um, but I will be reacting to another anime now and I'm reacting to quite a few other shows as well. And I do hope to, you know, keep that going, keep adding in more and more. Um, so please check out uh, some of my other shows, some of my other reactions. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on this epic journey. Please join me again next time for season two and or in another reaction. Action, and I'll see you then. We'll watch it together. Bye for now, guys.